Hi there. If you are looking for business dashboard design inspiration, then here are the five business dashboard designs that will help in your next project. And if you want to learn how to create such dashboards, then you can join my advanced tableau dashboard training. All right, with that, let's go and see these dashboards. So let me switch and here is the first dashboard which is for the insurance. This is created by Autumn Batani and the link for this dashboard and all of these dashboards, I will put it in the description so that you can see it. So what it what she has created is this landing page overview, agent analysis and claim list. So right now what we are looking at overview and in this overview, what you have at the top is the KPI that business needs like what are my key performance indicator, then a trend based on what is selected over here, right? So based on the selection that you have, which has been highlighted in this purplish blue is something you have, uh, you have these metrics by that means open claim, the trend of open claims. And then these metrics like top three open claims, reason, agent drop and uh, product group. So if you select any metric, then all these visualization, if you will see, will going to change um, for the user. And that becomes really useful because it gives an indication that you don't have any filter. However, it allows you to filter based on the KPI and you are able to see the trend and then the top three regions reasons uh, based on the total damages. So what you have or the KPI you've selected total damages. So apart from this, at the top, you see the last six months and you can click over here and see more time periods, which is a hidden filter again you know, to give a functionality for a clearer design where you have last three months, last 12 months, last six months. And the design, if you see, is consistent. Whatever is highlighted or selected is highlighted in blue or this purplish blue is what I can uh, think of is the color that has been chosen, right? And then you can click over here again and it will going to hide it. So this is an overview page, but I will also show you how the landing page looks like. It's quite elegant if you see overview. And then if you want, you can click directly on the agent analysis. You will be moving to that agent analysis and agent analysis tab is highlighted, right? So the agent is someone, something you can select from here, right? So right now, Stephen Wright is selected. So you see Stephen Wright uh, in circle as W just so that it looks good. What is the performance, right? And uh, products, the claims, all this information is something uh, at the disposal of the executive when they are looking at it. So this is more of an analyst dashboard. Let's say uh, first overview is something high level management is seen and then they want to go down and this becomes more of an analyst friendly dashboard, which helps you uh, look into the details more in a more granular fashion. Also here is the sort. So you can sort the values by closed game, total paid, days to close and open claims, right? So this is the agent analysis and based on the landing page, you have the third one, which is a claims list is something what you can see in the claim list. Uh, and you have the status, whether the claim is open, what is the claim number, timeline and agent, cause and product, and then total damages. Clearly to highlight, like this is where the total damages are coming. But if you will scroll down, it will show you uh, more and more information. Also, you can use your mouse like I'm using my uh, two finger scroll on the Mac uh, is something you can scroll up and scroll down, right? And then what you have is very interesting again filter panel, which is hidden similar to this one. If I have, if based on what I showed you earlier, so what it has is agent, agent group, um, agent claim cause, product group and status, right? So all of this is quite uh, interesting because this is hidden and once you know what you want to see, like all the open claims you want to see, click on open and show the view the claims. So very interesting dashboard. I wanted to show you as to how you can create it. Now let's move to the second dashboard. What I have for you is the funnel dashboard. So this is a sales pipeline dashboard. So if you are producing something for the sales pipeline, then this design can be helpful for you. So what it has at the top again, in all the business dashboard, you will see that KPIs are important because business want to see the key performance indicator 
and here along with the actual information it has shown the comparison so if you see the previous video where you or the previous dashboard where in the overview you have this 58.3 and the comparison year over year right similarly what you have is versus previous month and then the trend information is also shown like how the trend really looks like so one can not only just see this uh, actual value the average deal size along with the previous month value and then the trend one more thing you know that you can add it so at the top you have the um, you have the kpis then number of top opportunities uh, open opportunity sorted by number of days right distinct count of opportunity id okay in stage you have these 185 opportunities is something showing you is in prospecting stage you have highest amount of opportunities and what are my top 10 opportunities is something you can see by their name so which account drive the ability to convert again you can choose top 10 top 15 and uh, based on your need what was our ability to convert opportunities again very important if you have generated 100 opportunities then it shows that around uh, 48 opportunities or 49 opportunities you converted compared to 45 opportunities previous month right and then we are the focus of our efforts in the next 90 days right so closing in next 90 days or based on the opportunity close date it shows what it is going to uh, where you know our focus should be for those opportunities which is closing in 90, 90 days so if sales is your business then you can view this dashboard on the left hand side you have the filters like billing country industry and account manager so that your focus is on here and filters is in a dark panel is shown over here also you can hide the filters by clicking it over here that basically makes the design again more elegant so you can see the hiding of the filter is quite consistent in the first and second dashboard which these experts are using uh, to, to create it so this dashboard is uh, created by Sion Jun and uh, again this is you can see link is over here you can see more dashboard by her and sales funnel dashboard is what it is and there's a voted dashboard that means the tableau community has uh, the tableau community has voted as a best dashboard uh, when when it was published now let's move on to the third dashboard so here is our third dashboard again for the sales overview again quite a busy dashboard but very useful from a perspective of analyzing the data so what it has is again sales by segment click to look at uh, sales performance in the segment so it's something you can see the segment consumer corporate and home office like how the segment looks like the trend uh, again what i don't really like is you know this formatting which is quite a big number i don't know is it because of the uh, after publishing it has become but it looks like a a huge big font has been used and however the design looks great that you have the sales segment and then you have basically these uh, controls like ranks so rank from one to six based on the product subcategories like phones storage what was the target what is the year over year sales growth 133.3% uh, achieved as compared to the target so something a sales manager or a sales leader wants to see for each of their product categories if they are super interested in knowing how this is or this is based on the rank like from rank one to six so here you see uh, you have these growth you have these trends you have target information everything is crystal clear and uh, we can even choose the rank value from seven to twelve and that will show uh, the next six ranks that you have based on the um, uh, sales sub product category so this is based on the sales superstore data so choosing rolling n period like rolling 12 months if you want you can choose the rolling 12 month change the value and it will change the dashboard you will see more trend when does your fiscal year start so this is also dynamic like in India the fiscal year starts from April so we, we can select April and that will start showing me the information based on my fiscal year selection display the date range up to two years three years 12 months 18 months so how, how long or how small I want I can choose so very useful dashboard what I found uh, for the sales business the next dashboard let's move on to this next dashboard which is a car insurance dashboard again a very elegant design if you see 
a good use of color at the background you have this dark color you have this slightly light color and then the white color which looks quite elegant in my uh, as per my view and uh, clearly indicates what this dashboard is that is a car insurance policies dashboard the car make you can select the different types of car makes right uh, on which the insurance is uh, claimed and what is a car model so very very you know you can go at a high level or to a very specific like a by car by car model and then you can see what is the insurance cost what is the average claim amount commercial use private use and household income some very high level information for the management then down below you have your your information about the insurance cost and the claim come out claim amount just to compare with what brand and model that you are so that one can do the comparative analysis quite easily then what is a car use like commercial and private based on the insurance count the insurance count percentage average claim amount and average household income i know it will be quite small that's why i'm reading it for you just a high level statistic about the car use and the claim frequency uh, no no claims that has been uh, taken or one claim claim have taken two times three times or four times all of that is something they have given you high level statistic then demographics based on the insurance cost like by gender by marital status so obviously singles are making uh, more uh, so this is like insurance is how many insurance have been taken based on the insurance count so singles are taking more insurance then you have the age you know by which the insurance count is going on and by education like bachelor's high school and all so very very high level statistic about it where you can choose let's say you want to know more about uh, audi as a car make right and all the models of the car make audi so clearly it shows like 993 is the total insurance that has been taken this is the average claim amount uh, this is the commercial use this is the private use and household right so this becomes really useful if you are a manager or you need to manage your insurance then high level information about your insurance amount okay so with that this dashboard is created by kevin kumar ji and you can see more dashboard uh, link is present for this dashboard in the description however you can go to kevin's profile and uh, and create and see more dashboards that is created by him then what you have is the uh, what you have is the uh, YouTube analytics dashboard. So there is this YouTube channel, put some prep in your step. So if you are interested in uh, learning the W prep, then you can go to his channel. Uh, what, what he has done is he has created the metric based on the views, the subscribers, the minutes watched, average view duration and the likes, right? so this is what the dashboard that is that uh, he has created quite nice dashboard if you observe again you know with the actual view comparison is being made and the second is if you see the tooltip is quite amazing a description and then a trend along with this gradient feature yeah which is which is uh, making this dashboard quite appealing at least i found it really nice when when i looked at it and i felt like you know this this one this is something you should also see it so what you have is these high level kpis then you have down below monthly video rank by views click a video to highlight the path and uh, this is something you know you can click over here and you can highlight the path as it is mentioned over here right uh, maybe this video how to create snapshot table so all of this is something uh, that you can create and then you can replicate for your business right if you want to show let's say your product rank your sales rep rank and stuff like that across let's say different months and so so you can do that again click views by category how to certification new feature template discussion right so how to videos is is bringing more views compared to certification and then new feature and template is same the least is discussion right so clearly people are more interested in looking at how to videos then down below views by video right so tableau certified data analyst beta uh, post task thoughts is something has gathered many views so you can see these metrics by views by subscribers right so all of this uh, th these metrics will going to change into 
the subscribers if you see subscribers 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 then if you see minutes watched let's say likes then all of these metrics will going to change likes likes by category likes by video right so these are the five dashboard i wanted to show you in this video that you can take an inspiration from and create your next dashboard let me know uh, how did you like it if you are interested in knowing or uh, getting to know more videos like this then i'll be more than happy to create it uh, based on your feedback let me know your thoughts in the comments and uh, i'll create uh, the content for you as per your need with that thank you so much for watching